Today we're going to be looking at five different Easter eggs that has been hidden all around the Stanton system in Star Citizen. Today's video is brought to you by Game Glass. Game Glass allows you to take control of your ship from a tablet or a phone. All the key bindings are neatly divided into well-designed shards, meaning you always have easy access to the exact features you need, regardless of what you're doing. On top of that, Game Glass also works with Elite Dangerous, so extend your cockpit and get the full immersive experience. Follow the link in the video description and try Game Glass for free. If you like it and want more shards and features, you can either buy them individually or subscribe to Glass Pass. Use offer code DTEA and get 5% off your first purchase. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Star Citizen. Today we're going to be looking at secret places, uh, easter eggs, funny things that the developers has put into the game for us to find. Some of these places will be really difficult to find and will require some uh, precision coordination in order to get there, while others is something you will run by every single time you log into the game. Like the next one we're going to be looking at here. If you're going to head to any of the easy haps, you will probably notice this little like shop here at the lobby. Hi, welcome to the store. Thank you. You probably never paid much attention to it, but let's just take a look at what they have on display here. They have all the things you would expect, um, various like grooming products. Definitely worth taking a look. They got some towels here, also what you would expect to have in like a uh, a little hotel. More grooming products, seems to be the same thing as that over here. What do we have here? We have uh, toothbrushes, toothpaste, uh, okay, some kind of shaving foam probably. All stuff that makes sense to sell at a uh, at a little hotel lobby. And then they have... Um, in, so make sure to check then they have this. <laughs> now you can imagine what those are going to be used for. Next, I have something that I'm not even sure if it's actually an easter egg or if it's kind of unintended. I, I don't know. I'll share it with you and you can judge for yourself. If you head to any of the bars scattered out across the standard systems, you're likely to find bottles of champagne, as you can see we have here on the shelves behind us. If we walk up and we take a closer look, you can see that in fact this is listed as a champagne and it also lists here Sean Luke on it. Now, if you're a bit of a Trekkie, you will know, of course, we have Jean-Luc Picard, who one of the captains of the USS Enterprise. And his family did own a vineyard in France. So when I first thought this, I was absolutely sure that this was a, like a hidden Star Trek reference, that they were kind of like, oh, his family like in the future went into producing champagne, and then they put it in the game as a little Easter egg. After reading the five print of the label, I'm actually not so sure anymore. If we do read the uh, last name, it's actually listed here on the very last line here. I think that's, I don't know how that's pronounced, so I'm not going to try to even butcher a French last name. But it's the one with the V there at the end, all the way at the bottom. Obviously, that's not Picard, so it may not be his family. But I just thought it was a fun little, uh, like, I don't know. It's, it's a bit on the edge whether this actually counts as an Easter egg. In my mind, I like to think that it is Jean-Luc Picard's family who is still, at this point, um, got into champagne making and the supplying uh, champagne to the Stanton system. Next we have a, a rather cool one, some of you may know about this one. If you head to New Babbage on Microtech and you fly in towards the Aspire Grand Hotel, there's this big hotel with the opening in the middle, and you fly in it from the um, spaceport side and you fly in a small ship underneath the city transit um, like uh, tubes where the trains go, go in, you can go in underneath the Aspire Grand. You can get quite far in in this little corridor and at the very bottom you will find this little Christmas display. There will be a cozy fireplace, there will be snowmans, there will be gifts, there will be uh, Christmas trees. All that good stuff is, is hidden in there. I actually don't know when this was added. Um, I think it was part of some Christmas event, I would assume. It's still in game. You can still go in and, um, and visit that place. So if you haven't done that, next time you fly by uh, New Babbage, then do take a trip underneath the Inspire Grand and take a look at the Christmas display in there. For the next one, we need to head out to Grim Hex at the other end of the system out close to Crusader. If you fly to Landing Pad 3 and 4, you will be able to go down below Landing Pad 3 and 4, and there you will see a little cave entrance that is lit up by some small light beacons. Going into the bottom of this case, you will find a little secret hab or secret apartment, basically. In the past, you were able to actually go into this, but something has happened with the artificial gravity in this area, making it almost impossible to enter. I tried for 
quite a bit of time and try as I may, I could not manage to get in through the door. Something's just going on with the gravity when you get close to that entrance. I don't know what it is, but at the very least, it's it's worth a visit if you are in the Grimhex area anyway to go down and uh, take a look at the secret apartment underneath landing pad 3 and 4. And while you are out here in the Grimhex area, we're going to get to the last and probably the most difficult one on the list here to actually find. And that is something called Benny Hench. Now, what is Benny Hench? Well, it is basically Stonehenge built out of vending machines. <laughs> yeah, this is a bit of a weird one. Basically, we are out here in the rings around Jalla, actually not too far from Grimhex. We're only 254 kilometers from Grimhex, 254.6, I think, to be, uh, to be more precise. Um, and you can get the easiest way to get this is to uh, to keep your eye on your distance from uh, from grim hex i think i went to orbital marker six or something and then i flew out uh, into the ring in a relatively fast ship kept my eye on uh, on grim hex and kept my distance at around uh, 254 kilometers and i kept flying outwards until i were out at uh, 641 kilometers away from um, um, from jella and at this point you should begin to see a large asteroid. It's relatively secluded. There's not a lot of other things around it, so it should be easy to spot. But if you keep those distances in mind, 254 from Grim Hex and 641 from Jella, then you uh, you should be able to find this relatively big asteroid. Look around the surface. It's quite small on the surface, but you will be able to spot this little flat plateau that for some reason has gravity. And there's this display of Stonehenge made out of vending machines. Now, I haven't been able to find a whole lot of information about this place. Um, there is a, like a hidden in-game quest, not a track quest, but some hidden clues here and there that you can find around the Crusader area that will kind of help you point you in the direction to actually locate this. I think I saw somewhere a mention that this was kind of a, an Easter egg the developers put in because at some point there was something with players stealing vending machines. I, I, I don't know. I really couldn't find a lot of information about this. If you know the story of Benny Hench, then do put it in the comment section so you can share it with the rest of the community. Now, before we end, there's two things I would like you to do. If you have other secret places you think that could be fun, then post them in the comment section and I might do a follow-up video. And if you would be interested in a follow-up video where we go and look at more secret places in the future, then go down and hit the subscribe button. That's good for today. Thanks a lot for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys in space.